Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Let's go, boys. Both from House Sildon. Alasil, the House Magus, as well mm. as Temeron, the House Swordsman. Oh, yes. Hello, Alasil. Hello, Temeron. It is so good to see the two of you in such fine, fine fitting forms, yes. <laughs> and I, from I, the. I do appreciate you getting them to wear the tight armor, is what he says to uh, to Denister, and Denister gives him a nod like there was a... There was a, a discussion. Yep. And from the house of the, of the Conclave of the Crimson Sands, we introduce the challengers. Sona, please, Zor, led by the mighty bull. Uh, Survivors of the grand battle within the arena. Can Magnus... Day before. Talk to these guys before the fight, because uh, yep. we didn't get a chance to do that at all. Sure. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, so yeah, Magnus, you go over and talk to them right now. Yeah. Is that what you're going to do? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magnus, we won't let you down. I want you to relax. Do not kill them. This is not a fight to the death, only to submission. Zora looks relieved. Do not take any lives. But do your best. Like practice. Oh, huh? that means, Bo, we're only going to punch them out. Right. Like, hit, hit them no hard. Killing. Okay. Let them practice, keep practice. them breathing. Keep them breathing. Do not use your spells. I will need them later in another fight. Okay. Oh, don't Bo, use my that spells. That would be freaking hilarious if he gets knocked the fuck out. <laughs> as you say, as you say, boss. Sorry, All right, boy. everyone. I know you depend up. on them. Good luck. Oh, what about my arrows? And you notice that um, they anticipate this, and they come trudging out with a with a quiver of arrows. In fact, he wasn't allowed to wander around town with a full quiver. Like he hasn't He's been had provided. A that, he had, yeah. He was not provided ammunition. He had his bow, but right. uh, they provide blunt arrows for him. Okay. He nods. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Legion is all excited. Mm. Oh, can I do one of the honors, he says. <laughs> he's got a scarf in his hand. He's kind of he's kind of wiping it around. He's in Mirma's arc, right? In the name of the old gods and the five-faced god, for my amusement and the amusement of those who've been gathered, fight! <laughs> okay, initiative it is. Alright, so do you guys want to go through a full initiative with these guys, or do you want to use the Marty fight rules of the D6 <coughs> dice? Let's, uh, uh, let's, let's, I think we can Marty fight rules D6 yeah. dice this. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Um, each See, round, basically, both sides get to go. Group. It is simultaneous. Um, this, these guys are six-level dudes. They have six dice apiece. Each level of your guys gets one die. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think. Yep. We've got nine dice. And they have twelve. <laughs> they have twelve dice. You have told Bull not to use his spells. Spells are part of class powers, so he is at disadvantage. So eight dice. No, no, it just he, it depends. I, he fails ties. Yep. Okay, so I'll roll him on the side. Yep. Okay. Sona can provide advantage to one person. Can we have her provide advantage to Bull? Yeah. So yes. that he's to even, to even it out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So. All right. The, the what are we um, bull is a four hit die. He is a fourth level hunter, which is part ranger, part uh, part druid. Fleas is a first level gestalt. Gladiator is a tripod uh, book class. Uh, aristocrat. So his backstory is that he was born into slavery by some like old timey warrior who taught him how to fight. And always kind of liked the concept of having a knoll, but when his master died, his um, his um, 
his family didn't want the Nuala Round, so he got sold yeah, yeah, yeah. In, he got sold into no, slavery. No, 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 no. And then he's <laughs> trained as a gladiator, so he's got a lot of martial feats. Sona is a second level um, uh, arcane duelist. And Zor is a first level Magus Myrmidark, which is like Magus with a bow. Cool. Alright, you can decide to put people like each round of combat, they're either engaging or they're on defense. Okay. And we'll kind of represent that whether they moved up to each other or not. Uh, it looks like these guys want to be in your faces. Um, yeah. The rules are: if you leave the ring, you've considered you've considered uh, you've considered basically to, um, um, uh, to and, forfeit. And full def and and defense goes to the who defense is it just there, it doesn't no, matter. It's push. Right. It's the same. It's the same. Okay. I think we just right. sort of smash our... We just, we're just there, rolling. We're so. just rolling dice. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, okay. So basically there's no initiative in these rules. Basically we're using D6s. So um, describe yeah, what D6. Zor, Sona, and Fleas do in the first five rounds of combat. Um, Fleas moves forward being the most yeah. tanky guy. <laughs> he's got his shield. Yep. He's holding a knife. But when he gets close, he actually drops the knife, takes the shield with two hands, and baps somebody <laughs> across the face. <laughs> Sona is casting bard spells, and, and um, he's he's got encouraging words for Bull. Bull doesn't have, isn't riding his bull, so Bull, I believe, is just using a melee weapon. Bull was told not to use his spells, so he seems a little confused. Um, he has a battle axe in hand, and he and he just kind of just builds a line with fleas and is and is striking at whatever opponent right. is in front of him. He is a very simple, simple fighter. Yep. Okay. Uh, Zor begins fire. He, he casts a spell and begins firing his arrows right away. It's like he's put a little bit of cold uh, um, energy into his arrows. Uh, his, his bow is glowing blue. Um, he's not afraid to get into melee, um, but he, he doesn't have um, uh, he does not have uh, like combat reflexes. He'll just retreat behind the guy with the shield. And Sona stands in the back, but he's got a whip. And effectively, he is every two rounds going true strike, whipping a weapon out of their hand, true strike, trying to whip a weapon out of their hand. Although this seems to be a little bit slow for the elves. The elves come rushing in right away. They are not, uh, they are not um, uh, backing off. So I guess what this means is that each individual has dice that they apply to somebody else. Right? So... Um, who is fighting, uh, who is concentrating on, uh, Alasir in the first, uh, um, round? Let's get Reese. Fleas is going to go after the swashbuckler, because he okay. seems martial. Bull is going after the swashbuckler, uh, which leaves means... Zor and Sona. Okay, Magnus is directing them to gang up. Okay, the first round, they seem to do their own thing. Um, and you can you can you can give them specific instructions after the first round. Okay. All right. So House Silden Magus and Sona versus Zor. Um, I guess we're just rolling. So he gets sixty six so because he's a versus, Magus. Versus forty six. Versus forty six. Okay. Yep. Um, you should probably roll the forty six separate. Okay. What so I know who falls or not. I don't oh, know how, how how does this even line up though. Okay. Uh, forty six. Does it? Sh I guess he's actually attacking one, or is he attacking both? Like, could he knock both of them out in this? I'm confused. Uh, right. Because because there's a priority on things. It's like he's saying these three dice go on him, and that three dice go on them. Or does he put all six dice on one person's two d six, and the person's two d six is going against nothing? Yeah, he he'll either spread it out. Uh, I'll make that call. He's going to spread it out or concentrate all in one. Okay. All right. So he has to assign dice that he rolls to people. Yep. Yep. Okay, now, so the first... if he doesn't if some if he doesn't assign to somebody at all, yep. What are they rolling? Like, you you, you get to attack him. It's just auto hits. Oh, that's right? interesting. Because you're the DC, right? The, yes. the rule has the DC being the die you roll against them. So maybe you're forced to do it. But what happens if somebody outnumbers the dice against you? Or you always have to like, declare a die against someone? Uh, I think you'd always have to declare a die against someone. Okay, that sounds good. Let's let's do it that okay. way. We're kind of coming right. over the rules. We've, we've played with this before. So he's going to put one die on the elf, because he doesn't want to kill the elf, uh, but he needs to put one die on him, and 5d6 on the other guy. So 
Okay. So here's my one die against the elf, and the five d6 against the bard. Okay. Six, four. The bard rolls two d6. Yep. Uh, okay. All right, and if there's a six and a, anything higher than a four, then she doesn't die. There's a six and a three, so she gets wounded. Yep, he also gets wounded. Yep. No, no, uh, no, it's a push. It's a push. Okay, so basically, he tries to he tries to cast his true strike, but he comes barreling in uh, with his own magic spell. He knows he knows what Sona's trying to do and is tangling up uh, Sona's uh, Sona's whip. This allows Zor to get off a couple of uh, a couple of arrows. Whack whack, which harms Bloody him. Uh, yeah, so he loses two dice. So he lose, lost. Yeah, he loses two dice, and we've lost one okay. die. So Three I'm going to keep four. track of how many dice he's got left on his token. So he's so there is a vicious fight going on, two against cool. one. Meanwhile, we've got the swashbuckler and bull, who is not at disadvantage because of the spells encouraging words from Sona. However, he could drop disadvantage uh, if, when Sona uh, goes down. When once Sona goes down, bull is clearly the more threat. The threat, although like a fucking knoll with with a dagger and a, a shield, is pretty off-putting. So I think he's going to divide his attacks between the two. All right, fleas. All right, here's against fleas, as the swashbuckler comes in, is doing a little pirouette, almost like dance, and ding, 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 try to get around your shield as fleas drops his dagger and is trying to two-hand him in the face. Four, one, one. Oh, uh, fleas. One, one. Oh, okay. Fleas. <laughs> so. Uh, I believe Fleas goes down. Yep. Fleas is down the first to, first to go down. Like a um, yep, he get, he gets basically up um, uh, the hilt of the sword, kind of smashing into his face. Bull's like, no! <laughs> As Fleas bull. goes down. <laughs> uh, Fleas against Bull. So here's the 3d6 from uh, the swashbuckler who turns around. Fuck, <laughs> man. I, would, oh, I wanted Christ. the 4 one, one. <laughs> uh, Ahmed, you want to roll this one? Because I just rolled shit. Yeah. Bull gets to roll four dice. 46. Oh, oh fuck. God. Push All right, damage. so damage, damage, push, damage on him. So he does get a little bit of damage on himself. He's down to five dice. Uh, and fuck. Bull is down one, two dice. Oh, fuck. Because he didn't spend enough dice against him, so Bull actually got that last two. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's basically fencing with Bull and small and small hit death by a thousand cuts, but <laughs> Bull manages to basically go Brah! and puts his head down and, and like and like hoofs him in 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 the chest. Uh, he loses a bit of wind, but staggers back from Bull. Uh, right. the, the two House Sildan Magi uh, see that there are problems on this side of the field, and uh, they are going to reposition a little bit. Everybody's going to attack uh, number five. Yep. <laughs> they go back to back. Okay. So what are Sona and Zora doing? Everybody's attacking five. Everyone Everybody's is attacking, attacking the Swashbuckler? Okay. Uh, no, actually, no. Mm. Yeah, there's, uh, there's flank. Does that give us a bonus? Not really. Not really. Okay. Yeah. So in that case, everybody attacks five. It would in one round combat. Basically, we, we did like three rounds of combat, like in no. a speed mode. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, let's attack. Um... Hmm. Magnus is going to say drop the first guy, so drop number four, uh, uh, Alyssa. Because of Magnus, you're like, Rah, drop the. What do you call <laughs> Drop the, oh, the swordsman? No, the, uh, the caster. Drop, Drop the, the castle! castle. <laughs> go for the castle! Flank him! Go to behind him! That's right! Okay, they look nervous at this. Uh, Sona is going to continue to... Or, sorry, uh, Alice, uh, Alicil looks like he's going to continue to attack the bard. Uh, everything resolves simultaneously. Yep. Okay, so Bull won't be at disadvantage. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, it looks so like Temeron is still concentrating on Bull, though. Like, he's not... Okay. Um... So oh, no. we'll sort of leads Zor out, out in the open to take his free yep. little pot shot with, <laughs> with an arrow, basically standing back and, and firing. Do, do. Uh, okay, so uh, okay. what are we rolling? I'm a so little... Alasil versus Sona. 
He's got four dice left. And Sona's doing how many? He gets four, three, three, two. Sona, ro Sona rolls one. She gets a four. It's a push. So I think she doesn't just get blown up by the thing. So, Well, there's three other dice that hit then. Yeah. So, okay, so higher level characters just roll over lower level characters. You know what I mean? Like, because there's, there's no way to. This doesn't make sense. It's always going to hit no matter what. They're always going to hit. Yeah. A six right, level it, dude against a second level bard? A six level dude versus a second level bard, the second level bard. There's now, still a chance. No, well, no, because let's say the second level bard rolls two sixes, and the sixth level dude rolls six ones. The sixth level dude still won. Right. No, no. It, it, he can hurt him, but he's gonna lose regardless. Well, no. But that's 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 not D and D. D and D right. is not. not, not right, right. Is not you guaranteed die. It's always there's always a chance. There's always a roll. Right. That's 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 D and D. That's the. So, so so if he won that one, if it was a if it was a five, if it was a five, then he yeah she lost. All right, so the first one decides how how bad it goes. That's well, fine. it's 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 the because you get lots of chances to beat their roll. Mm -hmm. It's it's with, with the extra dice. It's just you know. Cool. All right, so there's yeah. a push that goes on. He gets tangled up in the uh, in in the whipping. Uh, you don't do any damage because you uh, because you because you like knocked one of his uh, yeah. weapons out. It was glowing, and then the glowing goes away. He pulls out another yeah. weapon. He he moves forward, which then leaves uh, Temeron and Bull. Uh, Temeron okay. still has. Um... Bull's got two. Temeron's got five. Yep. He gets oh four three two one one. Okay, so roll two d six Ahmed for Bull. Uh. So there's Bull takes one and Temeron takes one. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Come on, Bull. Bull, you shit. So, uh, right, I'll the way that a... he, the way he attacks multiple opponents, oh, I see, is by dividing his dice. Okay, yeah, that works. Right. Uh, so Temeron takes off one and Bull takes off. I, I, and I Bull guess. Is on, a bull is out. Bull has one more. Bull's got four hit dice. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, so, and then Zor gets two auto hits against someone. Because nobody defended, neither defended against him. Wait, uh, I wanted, I wanted. Um... All right, they're not listening to what Magnus said. Well, this guy with the six int. <laughs> yeah. All right, Bull. Um, so how many how many dice does Bull have left? One. Uh, well, I, uh, he had two d six, so he's one d six left. Right okay, now. so I'm gonna put one on his character sheet. It's not damaged. How many dice? And then Temeron lost his one. And then Zora gets two free hits. So he's listening to uh, Magnus. He's, he's smart. He's going to go all on the House Magus. And he has to get basically two successes. Which he does. So he... They actually are really good successes. Yep. So yeah. Boom! <coughs> he, he gets an arrow into him. As he was pulling out another weapon, there was an exposure. An arrow goes right into his, uh, his underarm area. He kind of calls out. Ah! All right, Magnus, what are you yelling? Bull's now looking at Magnus like, huh? <laughs> Uh, okay, so what's the situation? This guy's got two dice. He's got two dice of any light, one light, one dice left. He has two left. A little? No. Nope. Fuck. No, Sona, Sona successfully pushed it. She did. Defend, she defended barely. Okay. Um. Two and four. Okay, yeah. Everyone, focus on a little. Focus on the okay. whistle. Keep on the other one, Bull. The other one. You see, you're yelling at Bull. Bull, the other one. <laughs> Drop him. <laughs> okay, so Sona is uh, a fighting Alasil. Alasil is going to spend a. He hears this. He's going to spend one die on Bull and one die on Sona. Okay, Sona will. Here's the one die on Sona. Don't die. Five. Oh, Sona. Push. Push Sona's still up. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's basically he Sona's now got a long sword out and a whip in the other hand and there's there's some there's some uh Arrow Flynn kind of uh uh, uh swashbucklery going on. Uh hey, and whoa, Bull whoa. comes crashing in from the other side. I'm gonna roll a D six for Bull. Bang, gotcha. Right in the face. Okay, Doom. so that's one die that goes in. Now Temeron of House Sildan is going to spend one die on Zor and uh three dice on Bull. 
Actually, no, two dice on Bull, two dice on Zor. Okay. So the two uh, dice on Bull, six and a two. Uh, uh, bull he gets, he, can't he, defend he, himself. He, he he's now slashing in, so that's one success, so he takes one. So success could be higher than three, right? Four, five, or six. We could, we could do it, it that way. It, it could be. That would get to yeah. a, a lot of the other systems yeah. where it's 50-50. Um, the additional yeah. dice are a success to do damage, otherwise you're not doing it. Okay, so uh, he, he has one success you weren't defending, so Bull, Bull goes crashing down um, as he basically gets pommeled in, in, into the face and slapped upside of the head. So um, is Zor listening to Magnus, is the question. Because yeah, he was, Zor was told to attack Elisil. Yeah, because now because now Temeron's running towards Zor to get into the archer's face. Right. So this the question: Is Zor defending himself, or is he just going after Alisil? I think because everything is uh, everything is simultaneous, he has to. He, okay. He, he so to glare, you, right? So. So he's the, here's the two d six. There's a success, or I don't know. Uh, three don't is know. not success. Four is. So okay, he fired so... a couple of arrows, and and uh, es Esildil is trying to use Sona's Ugh. cover, and Temeron yeah. comes in, and and basically kicks uh, kicks Zor in the uh, in the chest, doing one yeah. damage. So one left on Zor. Ah! Oh, I am so exciting! My heart, my heart! Who to cheer for? I rather like blue, but I also like elves. I suppose everyone wins. Ashoka's golf clapping. <laughs> okay, you, you, pretty, you see Lord Pompilius and Captain Zoll are probably making side bets. They're not making bets in, like, yeah. um, um, they're, they're betting and they've got enough trust between the two of them that they don't need official notaries to uh, to make the bets. Yeah. Um, Zad is, is basically got a bottle of wine and he's drinking it and just looking at all of you like you guys are fucking trash. Don't worry. You'll get yours one day. <laughs> Is all that you get out of pitch. All right, Perfect. Uh, <laughs> the battle continues. Uh, Sona is got how many dice left? Two. They, one. One. Sona's got one. Zor's got uh, one. Alasil is going to defend himself against this annoying bard with the this annoying blue bard with the with the whip and the longsword. Uh, Temeron is going to divide his attacks between Zor and Sona. And okay. what is Zor doing? Zor is going after Alisil, and Sona's going after Alisil. We're taking one of them out. Taking okay. one of them out. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so win, Sona, so Sona and Alisil, give me a d6. All right. Okay. Three is what Alisil gets. All right. Sona gets a three. It's a okay. The, oh, the blades, ting, ting. The magic in the blades and the and the bard song and Zor uh, taking his and pot the shot. Zor from across Aha, the field. Down you go. <laughs> <laughs> Blunt arrow to the temple, crashing down as Alasil. He's like, you fuck. So it's, and Elvin, of course. So it's like, la la. Um, uh, Temerin oh. is going to do two attacks on yeah, Sona. Just, oh, Sona is on, is dice. not is not defending himself he against this. So oh, no. he, he yes. takes one one damage, which down goes Sona. Yep. And then, uh, so basically, he he body checks into Sona and then punches him uh, punches him like with an uppercut, and then he's slashing towards uh, uh, towards Zor with the flat of his blade. Um, he's flapping towards. Yep. Oh, I'm rolling d20s. Two uh, d6 is one and five doing duh, duh. one damage. He he slices through the bowstring and then has has the blade basically at Zora's throat and Zora goes, I submit. He he said he said it first in Elven and then he turns to the others and says loudly, I submit. And he he goes down to one knee. Golf clap. Wonderful, Golf clap. wonderful. Was it not wonderful? Legis. Oh, yes. They call me the fan of man, but I'm also the fan of other creatures and critters. The elves certainly came out looking awesome in this. <laughs> the uh, Temeron basically, uh, like, like uh, salutes to Denister and salutes to Legis, and he bows, and he also salutes to Zor. Mirai's brother. Um, there are three ravens 
that come flapping out of the cloak that uh, Denister has, and the three ravens are now on top of uh, on top of uh, Alisil, and one of the ravens casts a spell. Hmm. Spellcraft check. What's that? <laughs> uh, nineteen. Uh, one of the ravens cast a cure light wounds. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I, sorry, sixteen. Raven cast a spell. <laughs> cast a spell, but you notice that Alasul is getting up. <sighs> He's helped up by Temerin, and uh, he looks at the others that are all down. Don't worry, we won. <sighs> he, he got. He's strong. That one's strong. You're all strong. Okay, Ashoka is going to. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Ashoka's going to uh, walk into the ring. <laughs> yeah, and Magnus. Give is... The extract that we had, that leftover extract, and give it to Bull. Yeah. Oh, do up. put your druid away. You notice that the ravens go flying back into his cloak. The other, the, you don't know if they're disappearing behind him or if they're disappearing in the cloak itself. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to wake up Bull with the uh, that leftover extract from the morning. Okay. Yeah, Magnus goes to oh, shake the hands oh. of the other. He, he looks nervous when you when you wake him up. We're not. He did well, Bull. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Shoka's face might not be the first thing you want to wake up when you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he did Magnus. well, Bull. Don't worry. Oh, oh, my face got smashed. Don't worry, you did well. Uh, he shakes the oh. hands of the uh, the elves. Bad elf is what he says. He raises a fist. The no, elf no, 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 Magnus. No, no sorry. <laughs> no, Bull. You fought well. Both you elves. elves. Good fight. Go over one arm under the other, kind of so that helping him bow. He still got the shit kicked out of him, so they, they, they go off to the side and um, um, into an adjoining okay, room. I use one of the potions of Cure Light Wounds to wake up Sona. Okay, Sona wakes. Oh, not quite the... Sight for sore eyes. Apologies, Master. De Danister, can I please speak with Zor? No. One moment. Zor, take Fleas back into the back room. He nods. He puts his. He tosses his broken bow down and drags Fleas into the back room. You, you did a good showing, Zor. <laughs> good. All right. We'll bring Sona and Bull are now part of our casting cadre. You notice yeah. they they bring out what is it called a metronome? Like, <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> the next one I hear is going to be a difficult one. Yes, um... straight from the pits. This Ruakian does not belong to any clan, says uh, Slave Lord Pompilius. Bring out this Grawl. I'm eager to see him. Oh, oh my. Okay. <laughs> Fuck! He's got a great axe. Okay. Grawl! <laughs> oh, Frozen, I don't know if you're allowed to just give it to me like that. I think you still have to... You think you need a you need to say the words? Oh yes, he is ferocious, isn't he? Might I interrupt this sort of showcase, however, as I believe that it is time to give a, an appropriate gift in honor of a wonderful victory yesterday in the Battle of Saguine Tears. <laughs> Do I have your permission? Slave Lord Pompilius Prepare. Yes, of course, as long as it is not going to break the deal we made. Oh, no, nothing of the sort. Simply an impressive weapon that I have collected. Oh, how lucky for him, isn't it? And he glances to Ashoka with annoyance. Ashoka just ha gives a little, like a little, a little bit of shoulder movement. There's a little. So the case is brought forward. Some servants are holding it up, and some servants open it for him. And he, 
he goes in and grabs it and, and he, 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 he lifts it up and, and kind of like waddles out of his seat oh Frozen has to go yeah. Frozen has to go that's why he's trying to give that power to the hero point uh, let's see who doesn't have a hero point that uh, Frozen is going to bestow it to well that is very freaking kind of you Frozen um, um, I don't even have the initiative sheet open I do. I I'm going to make my little shake of proteins. I'll be back as I can figure out some good spells. So big boss does not. <laughs> so the Drake. You no, want us no, to no, save Magnus, right? Nobody. Okay. So current currently, uh, Frozen's got a hero point, and there are two people sitting on villain points. Drakester and Fox are sitting on those. Let's see who's in the channel here. <laughs> Randomly, you're still around. Randomly, do you want a do you want a uh, hero point? Yeah, randomly deserves a hero point. His own. His own. That's randomly werewolf will have a hero point. If he's with us. Thank you, Frozen. I will do my best. Yeah, bring me bring me pain or bring me glory. Wait. Something like that. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Yeah, I'll do it. Alright, cool. Uh Take so it hero easy. point. I'm going to erase the one from Frozen Gnomes. Um, very cool. <laughs> yeah. dun, 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 dun. Given that the, the fight was so much about fire, I decided to pluck this blade out of um, well, its own sort of retirement. The blade itself is called a dragon tongue and i do believe it was a fire breathing dragon that breathed upon the metal when the magics were new all you need to say are the secret words of the weapon and outcome will be the fire and another set of words will allow you to well let's not go so far quite yet I'll teach those words to you later in private. Yeah, I'll do anything for magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quote, I will do anything for magic. <laughs> <laughs> I will do anything for treasure. <laughs> but I won't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> I'll, I'll go. Uh, all right. So um, he t he 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 lifts with a bit of struggle this beautiful this beautiful um, um, great sword. The pommel has like a dragon head on it with rubies in its eyes. Um, it 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 seems to have like it's like choking on a big ruby as well. Uh, it's got reddish scales. Like like a, that of a stylized red dragon, and there's a red tinge to the blade. The blade is thick; it looks sharp. As they, uh, <laughs> good to, I will do anything for magic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he gives it to you. Goes down on one knee. I wish to knight you like I was a king of old. Uh, yeah, Magnus gets on one knee. Okay. Shoulders broad. Head slightly bowed down. Well, <laughs> I dub thee Magnus, one of my favorites. And he and he touches the blade to one side and lifts it over your head. He's a little bit shaky. He touches it to the other side, and then he says the words that effectively mean dragon tongue in draconic. And the flame, bur uh, the blade bursts with flame. <laughs> and he hands the plus one flaming burst greatsword to you. Oh, oh, I gotta write this shit down because I have a fucking bad memory. <laughs> uh, ah, right. Plus one flaming great sword. He then, he then he then touches your shoulder and says, "Do not disappoint me, Magnus." Uh, you honor me with your gift through battle and blood. 
I will always carry this blade and honor you with it. Uh, one sec. Not a pause in game. He goes. He goes. Legios! Legios! One arm waving at the sword like it was a fork. Okay. <laughs> and, oh, it does a huge like circle with it. So it makes like a big we'll, circle. We'll say the sword is magic, so it, 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 it can look different. We'll say instead of like a peak at the end, the sword goes up one side and it's got like uh, a, a like a triangle cut out at the end of the sword, like it's the, like a forked tongue. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah sweet. And it's sweet, really sweet, thick because it's because it's a great sword. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's write this shit down. Uh, Magnus. And then instead of the pommel, we'll have the oh, dragon coming up the side the side of the blade. Like, the tongue is actually coming out of the dragon's head. So you got dragon head, blade coming out of it, and it's forked like a tongue. Yeah. It's called uh, a flame burst? Uh, it is a plus one flaming burst longsword. Our oh, greatsword. Oh. It does 1d6 points of fi extra fire damage, and on a critical hit, we'll do uh, d10. Extra, an extra d10. Yep. 1d6 and 1d10. And because it, uh, it'll, it'll likely be flashy and allow you to do a thing, maybe. What's the, um, Marty, what's the uh, crit? 1920? 1920 for a, for a great sword. Yeah. Times three. Um, Ashoka, do you have a praise? Uh, yes, I do. What do you mean a praise? I mostly only appraise humans. Um, um, will the <laughs> spell... I didn't look at this, but there's a spell that what's-his-name has. 21. It is likely in the order of an 18 to 20 talent sword. I'm keeping that shit. It's mine! <laughs> Bury it with me! <laughs> <laughs> well, Hopefully you don't have to, Ashoka but... Ashoka knows if things go completely tits up and he has to grab one thing, that's what he's grabbing. And bugging out. <laughs> okay, um, the gladiators kind of get towels. Uh, maybe some healing was provided to them because Fleas is actually awake, and um, they're allowed to witness this battle. They're just sort of told to stand in the back and be happy to drink your wine. Um, he's so one of our casters. there's a spell called. Uh, oh, he's one of the casters. Okay. There's yeah. a spell called uh, Lead Blades. I don't know if that's personal or not. It, it is, is personal. Uh, I'm going to take a, a three minute. Uh, break while you guys figure out which spells you're going to cast on you. Pitch is willing to cast a... What was it? Haste? Heroism? Ha a heroism? A haste? Well, well good hope, haste. Good, good hope, hope and haste. Than good hope is better than heroism. Yep. Okay. And a, uh, he was going to bard song, like a lingering bard song for the first three rounds. A lingering bard song for the first three rounds. Okay. Okay, so these are the spells that I... And Magnus, third level. Yeah, you probably need the help. Yeah. Yep. We don't, we don't know what level this fucker is. Nope. But look at his token. He doesn't look like a pushover. No, he's not a fucking pushover. I am. Can I get the other token, please? Because <laughs> I want to look like Magnus, the Magnus of Magnus. Here. There we go. Ah! Actually, he's going to be over here so people can cast on him. Okay, I'm going to start writing the spells down. So, Barkskin... Bull strength. Oh, there's uh, greater heroism. That's the plus four buff. Greater heroism. Do I have that? No, no, no. Um, there's, there's, the there's, reason why we like Good Hope, Drakester, is because Good Hope gives you bonus some damage rolls, where Greater Heroism does not. Okay, these are the spells that I've got on Magnus. Here, I'm putting these. I'm gonna copy these down for you guys. Uh, aid. Put them in the notes section of your token. I did. What the fuck? Here. These are the spells I'm putting in. Barkskin, Bull Strength, Shield, Good Hope, Haste, Long Arm, Aid. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. That's aid is what? A, aid is what? A D10? Aid is, I believe, a D8 plus 2... All right, I'm going to roll it now. Six, I will take that. Um, maximum of D8 plus ten, so it's actually D8 plus three. So nine. Uh, seven, I'm sorry. <laughs> I 
<laughs> um, charisma zero. <laughs> I'm not talking to anybody. I don't have to. <laughs> good, good call though. Seduce your way into nothing. Yeah, seduce my way into getting shot with something. Okay, I, so... I believe Magnus is as charismatic as it is required to seduce his way into a brothel. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Where you still have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so aid is plus seven hit points. Plus seven hit points. Long arms gives me the haste is going to give me another hit. Good hope is what plus three to hit. It's two to hit, two to damage, two to, two to hit, two, 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 two and two. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Plus two, plus two. Shield is. And we'll plus see what his bard four. song is. Shield is plus four. Bull strength is plus two, plus two. Bark skin is plus two, I believe, this level. It's mm. fourth. It's fourth level. Uh, bark skin. Yeah, let's look that shit up. Look it up for me. Thank you, sir. I am. Um, plus two enhancement bonus. This happens to create one for every three levels above third. So, yeah, it's two. It's two. That's, I'll take that. All right. And let's see if he has anything else that is of use. Uh, your phone does not look good, so protection from good probably won't do anything. Magnus! 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 Calculating Magnus. bonuses! Magnus. <laughs> um, okay, so let's grab Magnus as is and then add the bonuses to him. Okay, so Magnus has plus four armor, plus one AC. And, oops, wrong character. Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, so plus five, and then plus four plus nine. When I rage, it's minus two AC, right? Oh, you got rage Magnus out? Yeah, we're going to get rage Magnus. We're going to rage when he comes in for my hitting. After he comes in for his hit. Oh, yes, it looks like you've made some deals. I'm going to see some spell casting. Okay. How wonderful. So, four, 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 four plus... Four, you know, Slave Lord four, Pompilius goes over and gives three potions to the to the guy. Two armor. Mar Ma uh, uh, Marty, I rolled seven hit points for aid. Okay. May the best gladiator win, he says. Uh, Ashoka will give him a smile approaching the level of creepy that his smile is. <laughs> I cannot top the creepiness of that smile, but I'll try. Snake teeth and all. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Sometimes the picture demands the voice. Is really is really the, like... So, AC 25. Am I missing anything, Adam? Four decks, one buckler, four shirt, four shield, two bark skin. Get rid of the buckler. Take the buckler off. Kick the buckler down the room. You don't need the minus one to hit when you've got a shield potion. If Fuck this that. fight lasts 30 rounds, this is gone. It's, it's insano. I'm a dead. Dead man. <laughs> uh, so two... Uh, one, two, three... 12, and Bird are each other. Yes. And 24 Bird AC. 22... Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you have the plus one for rage. haste, right? I'm going to look up this barbarian rage. I power. did not put the plus one for haste. Plus one for haste. Q, H makes it 25, makes it 23 This raging. is the battle of the no ACs. <laughs> ah! Oh, it's gonna be slugging. I hit you, you hit me! Ah, blood everywhere. Right. I can go acrobatic. I can go defensive. That, that, that might be useful depending on his AC. Because yeah. if you can, if you can hit him no problem, jacking your AC might help you because your AC is actually kind of high. No, uh, what I'm planning on doing is letting him come in. Oh, that's being a power? defensive. Wow. The more you know. But letting letting him come in being defensive, and when I take my full round, I go, I rage, and I go offensive. This is to knock out, but um, Pompilius has got. Um, Ashoka to agree to the fact that this guy, given that he doesn't know the rules of gladi gladiatorial combat, may not... They both have Die Hard. Orcs have Die Hard, Magnus has Die Hard, He's and they're barbarians. Orc. Yeah, we're not... He's the... half-orc, he'll Die Hard for a round, and then get wailed on for a round. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, two hit... So, Magnus, two hit... Right. He's, 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 he's got his... He's got his... Um, tri his 
traditional racial weapon of the Great Axe. He also has a spear on his back and a curved dagger at his belt. He is not wearing a, uh, a shield of any way, shape, or form, and he has a chain shirt on. Okay. Okay, plus five strength. Was he, like, bendy at all, or was he... <laughs> he's, he's a big, muscly thing. <laughs> you're gonna ask me what his dex is? Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> Did he look very uh, graceful no, as he walked he looked, through the... He looked all right, like, but he's stronger than he is graceful, if that if that's the... That is the question, <sighs> yes. And let's see what Three, he's going to five, drink. Two, two. Pompilius wants to win, because... Winning is good. Um, but he doesn't want to spend money doing it. That's the rub. To disintegrate. <laughs> <laughs> Magnus wins the winner! <laughs> Alright, Grawl is going to drink. He's Conan versus Orc Bodybuilder. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> mm. What spells, guys? What spells should be in those potions? Third level spells or less? This would be the time to spend a villain point. Yeah, also not. <laughs> uh, invisibilities are not allowed. Invisibilities are not allowed. Um, Alright, he is going to be given a... Hmm, a bless potion? <laughs> That's cool. That's right. A oil that he applies to his weapon. Oh no. That's a problem. Did it look like a fancy oil? Or like a cheap oil? Was it like a big sort of triangular bottom vial, or was it like a little tiny one with a skinny bottom? It, it, he, he applied it to the edge of his axe on both sides. Okay, what's my strength here? It's a D8. Is this a D8 or a D10? The last one he's going to drink, and he now looks more bendy. Okay. One, oh, fuck you. <laughs> one <laughs> That's D a good one. Eight, one D8 plus one D6 plus... <laughs> I went and closed my door. There are two people who were standing on the street that were having a smoke. They were listening to me roleplay. Because <laughs> all they hear is what I'm saying, which might have been a pretty weird thing. <laughs> Switching between Legis' voice and, and, and Pitch. <laughs> and Slave Lord Pompilius. They looked kind of confused when I glanced at them and shut the door quietly. <laughs> Uh, funny. <clears throat> oh, Ahmed, um, also, you should remember your steel headbutt that you've never used. I don't have it. Oh, you don't have it? Then don't remember your steel headbutt that you don't have. I don't have it yet. It's, uh, it's coming up. That's my next progression. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, question. Servants to roll check. out the red carpet. I'm tired of looking at this yellow. I'm going to change it to red. Adam, can you, sorry, can you quickly <laughs> look at the, uh, power, at the, uh, sorry, my damage? So, uh, strength, five, two rage... Two bowl. Uh, and then I really two like it when the red blood mixes in with the coffee. There's also going to be uh, what? How bard songy is? Uh, pitch? pitch is plus two. Okay, so there's a plus two to hit and damage from pitch for the first three rounds. For three rounds, I think that'll also be the last three rounds. Just... So Adam, um, it, sorry, it's uh, five strength, two rage. Two bull. I don't know if Ant Hall would help. They're, they're not. It would help you like throw big things. I'm just Adam. It's the yep. uh, it's the power attack that I'm confused <gasps> with. Your power attack would be minus one plus three. But I don't have the minus one. You don't have the well. You don't have the minus one on your first attack. You have it on your second. Your haste attack will have. Yes. The power okay. Attack. Okay. So, uh, but it's times one and a half. Okay. Is it all the Let bonus? Let us start the measures. And and the metronome starts going. Okay. Drinking and casting. Drinking, Drinking and casting. casting. Five. Glug, glug, glug. Cast, cast, cast. Do, do, do. All right. Uh, so, what spells are on you? What is the summary of spells that are on Magnus? Okay, Magnus. He... If you double click on him, there's the uh, notes. Oh, yep. So Magnus has a bark skin that was cast by uh, Bull, who is a hunter of Obed High. Bull also cast the bull strength on you. Look at you. Um, the shield spell came from an extract that Phineas created. The good hope and the haste came from... Holy fucking haste, really? 
uh, yeah. that that came from uh, pitch. Um, pitch. Uh, long arm, really cool. Uh, long arms potion came from Phineas, and the aid came from Ashoka. Ashoka, Ashoka had a potion, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yep. we had the potion, the cat's grace, and the potion we got from the alchemist. Okay, uh, let me let me open up the initiative sheet. Okay, so um, quickly, sorry, Adam. Um, the power attack is one and a half times my strength, or all the bonuses to hit. Power attack. To hit, sorry, power what attack. The fuck is time. going on? Because I'm I'm going to be dual wielding. W w you're, so your your strength damage is going to be ten on your damage. Yep. Okay. Uh, it'll be more than ten. I lied. It, well, yeah. Uh, It'll be thirteen, I think. But here, Let's, my strength. Where's damage. your combat no, sheet? Like, where, where are you doing 15. this math? Where are you doing it's this? Just math? doing it on the uh, on the one note. I'm not doing an Excel sheet. All right. So go under my AC. You see two hit. All right. Three damage. bad. Five, two, two, one, two, two. Uh, so you got the haste. You got the good hope. Uh, the bard song is plus two. Bard's gonna be fifteen and seventeen. Okay. Um, now your damage is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times one and a half is thirteen. Right. So there's cool. plus thirteen damage from your strength. There's plus one damage from the magic on the weapon. There is plus two damage from good hope, and then there'll be plus two more damage from uh, the parts. Hard. Um, additionally, your your power attack is minus one plus three. So another plus three. Yes. Okay. And your damage is 2d6 for the weapon, not 1d8. And haste will last for 8 rounds. Again, it's if it seven, runs out... Seven, it's... 7 rounds, right? 7, because yeah. the, the round before is when he actually cast it. So... Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. Okay. So my AC is that... Oh, look at you. It appears you have another fan as well. Hello, Pitch. <laughs> I'm gonna look up what the name of those little symbols. Uh, belly. What dancer. does the sword do? The sword is a um. The sword is this. It's called dragon tongue, but it's effectively that. He doesn't know the command word for the ray yet. <gasps> I wonder what that was. <laughs> <laughs> so those, and there's a spittoon? Zil. Weird. <laughs> uh, they're called I Zil or Sajat. Sajat? Yeah, or Zil. Zil. So he's got two Zils. All right, we're good to go, guys. We are good to go. Fucking got All right. Go get him. Uh. Go get him, babe. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I hope no one dies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, initiative. Uh, this this guy is freaking and hulking and and is gonna tear you limb from limb. Uh, five. Magnus gets a five. Uh, you're at a plus four right now. Do you have any other bonuses to initiative? Four. Yeah, haste five. Okay, plus one. And then, yeah, it's rare you start haste with start combat with haste up. Oh, why am I rolling dice like this? I got a 20, guys, and another 20. Oh, weird. Uh, Grawl the Gruesome has a plus two, but with his cat's grace, he's got another plus two, and he rolls a six. I win. I think... Uh, uh, the Which is wins. both at 10, but 10.05 goes to Magnus, and 10.04 goes to Grawl. As they're, they're both rushing in at the same time towards each other. Rawr! But Magnus manages to get his footing on this weird carpet that was laid down. You you get the sense while well, it's 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 red and it's lush. You do definitely see darker stains where hundreds of people have died on this carpet before. The carpet smells piss and okay. shit. It is it is a thing that <clears throat> others have died on here. Blood biography or Magnus just a whole bunch of rest of the game. Magnus oh, is Christ. fighting defensively. No, appar apparently Legis loves gladiators so much that he isn't willing to clean up the messes that they leave behind when they die in his own house. So, Marty. It's fine. Magnus is going to fight defensively. 
Okay. And let him charge in. So you're readying to an attack defensively? Uh, charge in, I'm 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 just delaying actually. But I'm I'm sorry, I'm I'm going defensively and readying an attack. So let me just check cuz rage might not allow you to fight defensively. I haven't raged yet. I know. I'm just saying. I'm just check coded in their blood, piss and shit, tears and sweat. Rage. I just want to see cuz rage is minus 4 to hit, but plus So you're three delaying. AC. I'm delaying. Right. I'm I'm <gasps> Actually, I'm going No, I'm going defensive <gasps> and I'm readying an attack. So going confused. defensive and readying an attack. Now, will that give me my... Question, Marty. Will that give me my AOO and my attack? There will, well, there, you have long arms, so there would be an AOO. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, it would give you both. Okay. All right. So he's drawing with his one hand the spear from his back, and he's going to chuck it at your face. Okay. If you're going to play like that. He does take a five-foot step forward, and you chuck, a, you chuck a spear. So my AC now uh, plus three is 20... He is raging, and the Eight. Masterwork Spear comes flying in towards you. Uh, it's still ranged attack, though, but he's got his Cat's Grace. And a Bless. What's your bad, sir? <gasps> yeah, this is scary <gasps> shit. <laughs> uh, how did they get... Oh, it's a Masterwork Spear. That's right. AC 22 with the Spear. <sighs> Shit. Miss. Ashoka. Wait. Ashoka's like, oh, this spear's coming. <laughs> All right, so, so it missed. Did it actually hit you and then bounce off Hold something? On. or? Oh, no, I have an AC that's five higher than that, or six higher than that. Okay, so. Uh, the shield spell blocks it. You've got a shield spell up? He's got a shield spell. Yeah. Okay, yeah. The shield spell blocks it and it lands dangerously close to. Uh, to hitting Ashoka's um, like inner thigh kind of thing, like you had to sidestep it and clang clang clang. He is down his spear. Okay, that was his attack or his turn. <laughs> I made this sword actually, guys. I made this myself. Just so. cool. Mm -hmm. Anyways, <laughs> I actually know how to use this, but for later time. Uh, he's not coming in, huh? He chucked a spear at you. He has both hands on now on his uh, great axe. Tick tock goes the bard song. And <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, bard song is now lingering on its charge in. Round. Charge in. No! Charging or are you moving? Uh, moving in. Sorry, I'm not charging in. I'm moving in. I'm raging. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my! It was so exciting when he threw So is that here. ten feet or five feet? <laughs> you could charge. It's ten feet. That's ten feet. I'm not going to charge. I don't want to get hit with this fucker. You notice that everyone's on their feet, where, whereas others may have been a little bit uh, laid back with the last fight. Uh, like, people are um, like so into this fight. <laughs> Magnus is raging now, and we're going to fucking put this guy down. So one, one attack? <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to trade hit points. We hit point and race. We're going to hit point. Yeah, then it's the hit point race. You, you okay, can hear so... your boys cheering Magnus in the background. Magnus! Magnus! Oh, so exciting! 26? What's your AC? Oh, yeah, you crush his AC at this point in time. <laughs> okay. His AC should be something like 16. <laughs> Two handed blading in towards him. Damage. Do you want me to separate fire or you don't care? No, he does not have resistance to fire. Uh, 29 damage. Oh, you fucking suck! But. All right, that's fine. 29 damage. Wow, okay, there's this horrible, horrible branded wound that you rip across his chest. 29 damage is significant. He he grunts in pain and slashes up with his axe. Oh. There, are, there are embers flying everywhere from your sword as he then pushes in with his axe. And he's going to... Don't get crit. Don't get crit. No. Feed the axe to you. No, no crits. So d20 plus... Rage. 12. Plus 1 for Bless. 3. I think that's it. Don't oh, Magic Weather. Plus 2. 
So D D twenty plus fourteen, effectively. Oh boy. AC twenty seven. That's a hit. 